What's up, everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we last last left off, sorry, I was trying to say that too, too quickly. When we last left off, we had made this nice little runway type thingy for the Betsy Mark II. Uh, let me go ahead and trim this because we don't need that there. Um, so I placed this sensor block with a light here. Um, I don't know what all I need for this exactly. Um, actually, this doesn't require too much stuff. Uh, let me grab the badger here. Oh yeah, by the way, I found out I lost a whole battery on this thing. So now I'm down a engine in the back here, or a, th a thruster in the back here, and a battery in the front, so... Uh, Ship fuel. My uh, ship here is getting kind of busted up. Now, one thing I've wanted to try since the update is to see if this will work. Yes, it will. That is amazing. Okay. So we can actually pilot with the, um, with the thing. Now, now what happens? Okay. Let's see, is there a way? Toggle block on off? No. Okay. Okay, that's cool. You have to get out, but whatever. Actually... Yeah. Yep, you have to get out. Okay. Um, so I'm... let's... Wow. Cannot figure out what I'm doing. Turn the ship on. There we go. Uh, I will say this is a nimble little booger. Like I didn't actually intend for it to work that well, but this thing works like a charm. Okay, so what do we need for this? What do we need left? We need two large steel tubes and two bl bulletproof glass, and this needs... One detector, one construction component, and one computer. We've got that, I think. Ooh, going a little fast. I kind of forget that I'm in survival sometimes. Uh, do I have bulletproof glass? I don't think I do, actually. No, I don't think I do. Uh, what did I say I needed? Two? Bulletproof glass. Um, let's scroll back up here. No. Well, yeah, that's fine, whatever. I'm just grabbing stacks of ten. Um, that should take care of that one. The other one was bulletproof glass. Ugh, what else? Interior plates? Maybe? Possibly? Let's try that. See what happens. Um, so, I started to say that when we left off, we built this runway thing. Um, and this is going to be our sensor block to set up... Come on. Uh, to set up the system so that basically we can tell when the ship is within its parameter or far enough up. Kind of like the tennis ball on your driveway kind of thing. The, the old tennis ball trick. Okay, that one's done. Oh, the large steel tube. That's what I forgot. I forgot the tube. Um. Okay, now let's get rid of all this crap. And grab two tubes. I need two tubes. Okay. So that should finish this up. Now, the one thing I can't remember, and it's why I built this stuff first, is um, whether or not you get power through... Well, I guess that answers that question. <laughs> I was gonna say whether or not you get power through blocks that aren't completed. Apparently, we do. Okay. Um, so, let's change this name to Betsy 
mark to landing light. And in true tennis ball fashion, uh, let's set this up as like um, something like that type of green. Should be fine. Um, and sensor, we'll set this to Betsy Mark 2 landing light sensor. Show on HUD. I don't think I have sensors. <laughs> Has that always been there? That's kind of funny. Oh, okay. Do I have an antenna? Oh, do I have an in I do have an antenna, don't I? I put them up on top of the solar panel. Wait, no, they're not there. I thought she needed an antenna. Ooh. Did I break something? I might have just broke something, I don't know. But this will help us figure out where we need this to be. Um, first off, let's go ahead and set up the actions. So what we want is this one to be uh, toggle block on. Well, yeah, yeah, we'll do it this way because you can't have the same action in side by side. So, and let's take the bottom, top, right, left in, back in. And we'll bring this one out by a few and see where we're at. Uh, detect players is fine for now, for us to test things. Okay, so that's one. What did we say we needed? We needed it to go out three. And we're currently here, so we need to add two, one, two, three more to the front. And we might want to do... Um, a couple to the bottom just to make sure we're catching it properly. That's working well though. I like that. Uh, okay, bottom. Let's add like five. Front, we'll add three. Okay, that's good. Now this... Okay, so good to know. A meter is not a block. I think now that I'm thinking about it, I believe they said... A meter is like, or a block is like 2.2 .2 meters or something. Um, so let's go to f 15, maybe? Let's try 16. 16 or 17 is going to be the magical number. 16. 17, I think, is going to be the... Eh, no, 16 is... Pretty good. No. Eh, eh, eh. If I was really being persnickety, I could figure out the exact math and put in the right number. Um, actually, let's try like 16.5. Can I do that? No, it won't let me. Well, there is a bit of wiggle room in there. Let's just go for 17. And then we'll turn off detect players, detect large ship. That should work. Perfect. Alright, get rid of that. And we can turn this off. Show on HUD. Turn that off. There we go. Sweetness. Alright, now let's get the honey badger out of the way. Fuel. It's not critical. Leave me alone. Okay. Let's ship fuel critical. make sure we stop. I always do that. I, I get out of the ship or something and I don't realize that the ship hasn't stopped yet. Um, okay. Wow, I don't know why my game is so laggy lately. I'm hoping it's not because of all the mods. Uh, it very well could be, though. But I've been doing really good on frames, and 
for some reason, I'm not doing very good at all right now. Now this... Hmm, this is gonna be fun. Actually, I'm gonna pause it for a second and save it, and then we'll be back. Okay. Oh, I know my thrusters are on. <laughs> uh, missile turret thrusters. Okay. Now for the fun part. Trying not to crash. Um, am I pointed downward? Or is that just... No, my crosshair is pointed downward. Okay. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Man, I haven't flown the the Mark II in forever. I hope I don't scrape anything. I feel like I'm gonna clip that right there. Let's move over and up a bit. Make sure we clear... Oh yeah, I've gotta make sure I clear that thing too. I don't think I'm gonna clear that, by the way. Okay, I cleared that sidewall one. Barely. Ugh! We're gonna have to do some trim work. Get rid of some of these rock sections that are just sticking out of everywhere. See, this landing system will work. I just have to get it to where I'm lined up, because right now I'm at a weird angle. I apologize for the frame rate again. I don't know what is going on. Because the last time I recorded on this, it was not this bad. But for some reason, it's just not being nice to me today. Okay. <gasps> Did I bump the bumble? Oh snap! I bumped the bumble! Oh no! Okay, let's get as close. I don't want to bump the honey badger. Oh, go this way. Go this way. Turn a little bit. I'm trying to keep that out of the way. Right, let's move forward. Preferably without crunching this thing over here. Alright. These guys are like right in the way. It's, it's great. You know what it could be, I suppose, is that my refineries and assembly stuff is running. Wow! Wow, we got close! That's not good. Ship fuel. Yeah, critical. yeah, yeah. Go away. Ship fuel critical. Ship fuel critical. Thank you, Captain Obvious. You're just turning on. Of course the ship's fuel is critical. The fuel hasn't started yet. Get in. Stop floating away. Okay. <laughs> We're good. Oh, man. Yeah. I don't really know what the stuttering is from, because it's like fine, and then it'll stick, and then it's fine, and then it sticks, and then it's fine. You know, like it's a really weird frame rate issue that I'm not sure what to make of. Alright, we need to go over. Let's see if we can't line this up. Right about there. How are you looking over here? Not quite as good, so we need to turn a wee bit. Turn a wee bit more. Now, how are you? Ooh, you look good, too. Alright, so can we land? There's one. There's four! Look at that! Woohoo! 
You still need to turn a little bit more, though. We're kind of, kind of off. Drop the back. I kind of want this to be kind of like a rail thing where we just kind of scoot the landing gears across the the railing. I'm kind of hoping. Okay. So can't for it. Now this rock definitely has got to go. So we're gonna park this for now. Um, and I'm actually going to turn this off completely. I don't know if that'll help my frame rate at all. It should! That's the that's the part where I'm kind of confused as to what my frame rate is doing right now. I'm wondering if it's because I've been recording a lot of different stuff uh, in the same sitting. And so, like, the RAM is just maxed out and I need to do a restart, maybe? Possibly? So this has definitely got to go. Um, where is the badger? I don't have the drill arms yet for the honey badger, so we need to revert to the badger. The little one. Um, wait, where am I right now? There I am. Okay, yeah, see the... It's like every few frames it just sticks and stutters, and that's odd, like that's not really how frame rate issues should behave, so I don't really know what that's about. Um. Ah, charge! I really do need to get the arms for the honey badger done so that I can use that one, because it's got more weight behind it. And I also need to download the next, the latest update for um, SE Toolbox because I'm gonna have, I already have uh, a lot of ores and stuff in the in the background floating around that probably aren't helping my frames at all. Um, that I really need to get rid of, but the latest version that I have, um, it won't open. Like every time I go to open, it crashes. It's really annoying. So, there's that. Um, but I'm going to trim this up, and when we're done, then I'll be back. Okay, so, I managed to clear out a big chunk of this rock, not without um, problems, though. Uh, I gotta be honest, we lost... We lost a gun turret on top that um, I thought was clear and was not. Somehow I managed to, I think, dismantle my own downward thruster. I'm not really sure how that part happened, but I made a little crevice for it to go through and then realized I turned around and realized it was gone. So apparently I broke that and wasn't aware that I broke it. Um, and I don't know how this one happened, but down here at the front, we managed to poke a hole in the chassis not really sure how that happened, but whatever. <laughs> um, so now we get to try and see if the parking light works. That's what I'm going to call it, actually, is the parking light. Um, okay. And I had a few more ideas for some smaller, uh, like that little bike that's charging. I have a few more ideas for, for some ships like that. So. We're going to undock this, um, and let's just turn it on, and I think everything is clear at this point, that we should just be able... Nope! We just got hung up on something. Seriously? What is it? I'm pushing forward and it's not going anywhere. What am I stuck on? This is kind of annoying because I've done this like four or five times and it keeps lodging on something, but visually all this looks clear, so unless it's lying to me, which is possible. And I don't even see any damaged stuff. Grr. Okay. 
try this again. Alrighty. So we cleared it a bit more, as you can tell. Let's see if this will work now. I'm hopeful. Make sure we stay down. Alright, clear. Please clear. And what is it getting stuck on? There's nothing there. Alright, that's very annoying. That is very, very annoying. I'm pushing forward. Visibly, there is nothing blocking it. But it's getting stuck somewhere on something. And I have no idea what it's getting stuck on. Oh, wait a minute. What are we doing here? Or even... Is that damage? No, that's not damage. It's not even damage any, damaging anything. Wait a minute. Hold on. I just thought of something. I just thought of something. This would be totally weird if it were the case. I'm, I'm actually just going to call it here and just say it's fine for now. Uh, we'll clear it out more at a, t a little at a time. But what I'm wondering is if this thruster is actually still here. No, and look at all this damage that's happening. What is going on? Or wait, no, this was just stuff I didn't fix. Never mind, that's not new. So the only thing I can think of is that because of the way this works, that like this, it's still seeing this asteroid block like here, maybe. And so it's not letting it pass through for some reason. But I mean, visually, you can see there's nothing in the way, visually. And I don't see anything it would be running into on the sides. Yeah, so there's like nothing around it. So I don't know what it's getting hung up on. But I have been working on this for almost a day and a half. A little here and there, off and on. So the recording has been quite long for this one episode. Uh, but this asteroid section was much, much larger than I originally thought, so it took forever to drill through everything. Um, so because we're that close, I'm not super worried about it. i tell you what we'll do, is just to make sure this works, let's change this temporarily to detect players as well. Uh, and we can see that it does in fact work, even this far back. Wait a minute, why is it working this far back? Oh, I had it set to detect this block, I think. So that's about where we wanted it to stop anyway, really. It's, it's just a hair too far away. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and call it on that note, because I'm not spending another 20, 30 minutes, hour, whatever it would take to drill through all this to get it to clear, since I've already spent so much time on it. So, we are going to call it quits for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!